Hi, this is Christian Espinoza with Alpine Security. In this video, I want to talk about the ECSA. The ECSA is the EC Council Certified Security Analyst. It is a certification that takes what you learned in CEH and takes it to the next level. So if you are already a certified ethical hacker, what the ECSA does and what its overall intent is, is to take the skills you learn in CEH, you learn how to use a lot of tools, you learn some skills, it takes all of those and applies a methodology to them all. So you can apply what you learn in a real pen test. So that's the whole gist of the ECSA is a penetration, te penetration testing methodology applied to the items you learned in the Certified Ethical Hacker. There are two components to ECSA. There are two tests, I should say, which is why there are two logos on the screen. There is a multiple choice test, which allows you to use the logo on the left, but there's also a practical. So if you want to prove you can actually do the things you say or think you can do, then you should take the practical. And we'll go into a little bit of the details of the practical here in a minute. But the practical really separates the talkers from the doers in my mind. This is the overarching progression. On the left, there's the core. So these are the core penetration testing uh, certifications according to EC Council. The advanced is where the ECSA comes into play. And on the far right is the LPT or licensed penetration tester. At Alpine Security, we offer all of these courses. We're one of the very few, if not the only company in the United States that offers the licensed penetration testing um, preparation course, which is the advanced penetration testing course from EC Council. We offer the entire gamut. So the progression goes uh, C and D, Certified Network Defender, to Certified Ethical Hacker, to Certified Ethical Hacker Practical, that's the core. Then you go over to ECSA, multiple choice, ECSA practical. Then you go over to LPT, which is the expert track, and LPT master. You do not have to take the CEH before you take the ECSA. It is not a required prerequisite. This is what's covered in the ECSA. I'm not going to go into great detail about this, but you will notice one thing is pretty recurring here. That is the term methodology. As I mentioned earlier, the CEH focuses on the tools and the skills, but it doesn't really package that into a methodology. So where the ECSA really shines is it takes all the things you learned in CEH or outside of CEH, if you learned on your own, it takes that and applies it in the methodology. So for instance, in CEH, you may have learned how to use SQL map, maybe Burp Suite, maybe OWASP Zap, maybe Peros, maybe other tools for web application penetration testing. The ECSA takes all those tools you learned and applies that in a methodology from start to finish that you can use in the real world for web application penetration testing. And this is important because you need a methodology to make sure you don't miss steps. Like if, for, for instance, if you don't know to look for a SQL injection and you're actually doing this in real life, it would be pretty embarrassing if the, the web application you, you just tested was later exploited a week later by somebody with SQL injection because you forgot to do a SQL injection or it never entered your mind. So this is why the methodology is important. The other important aspect is the report or deliverable. So the ECSA focuses on the methodology as well as the report. As I mentioned, there are two exams for ECSA. There's also two for CEH now. There is the multiple choice exam, which is 150 questions, four hours. You have to get 70%. There's also the practical exam, which has eight challenges. So eight challenges, you have to get five out of the eight and complete a acceptable penetration testing report. So this is just like what you would do for a real client. 
Every client that we've worked with, they expect a report at the end and they expect us to know what we're doing. So this emulates reality. It is a proctored exam, which means you can take it from your laptop, from your home system. It's web-based labs. That's what the iLabs. So the range you're testing on to ac accomplish the challenges is online, in the cloud, in the iLabs. And it's proctored, meaning someone is remotely monitoring you via a camera, as well as watching what you're doing on the screen. So if you have to go to the bathroom, for instance, you should probably do it before you start the exam. Depending on your proctor, they may not let you go to the bathroom. So this is the gist of the ECSA. Uh, at Alpine Security, we offer that entire track, as I mentioned, the entire EC Council penetration testing track. Uh, right here, we offer all these courses. Uh, specifically, the EC ECSA is a great course. It's a great next step from the CEH. It is also a great course to help you with penetration testing if you're interested in becoming a penetration tester. If you'd like more information about the ECSA or the penetration testing track, let us know. I'll put the link beneath the video to ECSA. If you have any questions or comments, leave them beneath the video and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Have a great one.